welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for being here. I'm Jacqueline Ann, and as you can tell from the description, today we are doing a Lululemon haul. So on Saturdays, we do Lululemon hauls. I try to um, review if there are any new items that I picked up over the past week. I try to bring it to you guys for a review. Um, fun for me, hopefully helpful for you. So that's what today's video is going to be. Um, I have a few things that I picked up new releases this past week. So that is what I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today. And then I got, I got a, um, top that's just a staple that I just needed another color in. So if you're interested in seeing the things that I picked up this week, then stick with me and don't forget to give this video, um, a like and subscribe if you like Lululemon and if you like hauls. Um, we do a lot of those here. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and let's get on with the video. So all of the sizes and links are going to be included in the description box below as always. And first of all, what I'm wearing, this is the Strappy Nulu shelf tank. I get it in a size eight. This is in the color black. I have this from last year. You guys know I've gone on and on. They are one of my favorite tanks ever. Um, I like that they're a little bit longer than the Align tank. I like that they go straight across as opposed to the lower cut that just is not enough coverage for me. And they're super comfy. The straps are super comfortable. They already have the bra, so it's a one and done situation. Um, just, I, could, I couldn't love them more. So that's what I'm wearing on top. And then I have the Softstream high rise pants. This is another item that I wear on repeat. I'm wearing it in the color bone. Um, I love that the top is just slightly cropped and the pants are flowy and comfortable. It's 80 degrees here where I am. So this is the perfect outfit, like in the little black and white combo. So that is what I'm wearing today. Um, and let's get on with the haul. Okay, the first thing that I am reviewing today is the Scuba Full Zip Cropped Hoodie. If you guys saw the drop this past week, then you definitely know that this brand new style of Scuba dropped and I was so excited about it. Um, these are, and this is the color bone by the way. Um, I got this in a size eight and you can see just by looking at it that it is significantly smaller than your regular scuba oversized hoodie. These are not oversized. This is quite fitted sort of through the waist, um, even though it has a construction that looks really similar to your regular scuba hoodies. So it does have the logo still on the hood. Um, I feel like the hood is not as large as your regular scuba hoodie, so that is a difference. This also has a lining inside, which the regular scuba does not. It's kind of a jersey um, type lining. Um, construction wise, they're similar. Like you can see that the way that it's made is fairly similar. There are no pockets. So I definitely wanna point that out because I am a woman and I like pockets. So that is kind of a bummer, but I'm thinking that because it's so cropped, it might've been an awkward, like adding bulk. So I get it, but I just want to point it out. Um, it does still have the um, thumb holes on it. Um, and it, so the sleeves still have a little bit oversized feel to them, um, but it's not an oversized jacket by any means. So this is what it looks like. I am excited about it. It definitely has its place and it's really different from anything that I already have. Um, the fabric, let me just say this, the fleece is the same scuba fleece that we're already accustomed to with the regular scubas. So I got it in a six and an eight. This is the eight. I am definitely keeping the eight and I am keeping it. I really do, uh, I really do like it and I feel like it totally has a place. The thing about it is that it is definitely, it's just smaller. It's a, it's meant to be a fitted, tight, cropped jacket, um, but it's cozy. And so I really like it. As soon as I saw this, I had in my mind that I could put it with my um, soft string pants. And it, actually, this is the bone color. Love the, love the combination of the bone colored jacket with the bone colored pants. 
so cute. And actually I love it with the um, Strappy Nulu in bone that I just recently had gotten. I love the three all together and leaving this unzipped. And that is exactly the combination that I had in my mind whenever I saw it drop on the website. I had just gotten the um, Define jacket, the Crop Define jacket, because I knew that I was going to want something to throw over my shoulders whenever I wear a tank. And I wear usually my soft stream pants with a tank. That's a really typical combo for me to put together um, with sort of a cropped kind of tank. But then I want something over my shoulders um, even through the summertime because air conditioning and I just want a little something to, to sort of cover my shoulders. So I knew that I wanted a jacket to go with it and I got the Define jacket, but now I'm thinking, hmm, maybe this would be the better, cozier option or another option. Um, I'm not saying I'm necessarily going to change my mind and re return the Define jacket because I'm really happy that I have that. Um, but this is definitely a good option that I kind of didn't see coming because it wasn't released yet. So. I am really excited about this. I think it's very flattering. It does sort of do the same thing that the Define jacket does in that it kind of sucks you in and gives you uh, this flattering figure. Um, to be perfectly honest, I really think that most of the time I'll actually wear it open with um, like the Strappy Nulu tank or something similar to that underneath or maybe like a skims tank i could totally see it with one of my skims um just the little cropped tanks under it um so it's lightweight but like but you still have something a jacket on over because i am that girl that's always cold so i already have lots of ideas for how i want to wear this i could see that it's going to be very flattering it is a very um different style so it's it's really different than the scubas similar but still different because it's so cropped and because it's fitted um, so as far as sizing goes I would definitely not size down and I would go with if you're between sizes I would go with the larger size or um, for your top uh, whatever your bra size is um, so sometimes I wear a six in tops, but I wear an eight in bras. I would definitely go with the bra size over the sometimes top size. So that is my recommendation as far as sizing goes. But overall, I am, I'm really excited about it. I love that it's something very different than what we had already. I feel like there's a place for it. Um, and I'm so excited about it in the color bone because that is just gonna be a staple for me. So I like it, I recommend it. Um, and I want to hear what you guys think about it too. So as you try it, let me know what you think. Okay, and next up, I grabbed the Maldives Green Scuba whenever it released. Um, I couldn't be more excited about this one. So I know I don't need another scuba. I just got a scuba and returned it. But um, when I saw this color, I really tried to talk myself out of it because I told myself you don't need another scuba. But I love, I have always kind of loved this green color and I think it is so pretty. It's really vibrant. It is a heathered. The scuba is heathered, whereas the other things that I've seen that have dropped, I haven't gotten any other pieces in Maldives green. Um, but I've seen that they are not heathered. They're just a vibrant, rich green. Um, but I love this heathered look. Uh, I think it's, I mean, just the color is so, so pretty. So. I know that this is the kind of color that I'll want to pull for. So there are some colors that I just don't reach for as much during the spring and summertime. I, like I said, it's 80 degrees here today. So I am definitely gearing up for spring and summer. We are already getting warm weather. So I'm already, my mind is already there. This color is such a springish color. I just couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. I know I'm gonna wear it a lot because it's it's just such a pretty color. I, I couldn't love this color more. So I'll definitely be getting some more things in Maldives Green as pieces are released that are more um, my style. So, so far I haven't gotten anything that I just had to have, but I'm, I'm watching for them. Um, so love this. I am definitely not going into details about a scuba and how a regular scuba is constructed because we have talked about this many times. I did decide with this one, I am all over the place, you guys already know with my sizing, but I decided with this one to go with the extra small small just because I know that I'll probably be wearing this a lot with like shorts 
um, in the spring and summer because like I said, I always throw something over because of cold air conditioning. So I just felt like something smaller in this color was going to be um, what I was going for, something a little bit more fitted. So I choose my sizing based on color and what I'm in the mood for in the moment. And so this time I chose the extra small. Small easily could have done medium large. So I love that color. I'm really excited about it. Okay, and next item that I grabbed is this perfectly oversized cropped crew. This is in the French Terry fabric. It dropped this past week. Um, this is exactly the same sizing shape as the soft string perfectly oversized cropped crews only it is in the you know it's not fleecy it is exactly like you know a terry washcloth towel type fabric not it's not super light but it's also not gonna weigh you down it's not one of those fabrics that you put on and you feel sticky or anything like that it's just that feels like a you know cotton towel um comfy it's a really comfortable fabric so I picked this up when I saw that it came out in white because that is exactly my style come spring and summer I've loved all things you know the off whites and everything but um, a good crisp white just is absolutely my style and I start looking for them as a matter of fact I think uh, I'm I'm looking at what white white shorts I will be ordering because that's just my style come spring and summer I really like to have some bright whites in my wardrobe so this could not have been more appropriate timing wise. Um, this is a cropped fit. It's a little bit boxy, exactly the same as the, the perfectly oversized cropped cruise in the soft stream. It does have this thicker waistband. The logo is in the back left side, but you can, I mean, it's in white, so it's very hard to see. And my light keeps going in and out. The sun keeps hiding behind the clouds. So sorry about the crazy lighting, but um, I get it in a size six. That's the same size that I get in my soft stream cropped cruise. Um, and it has that perfectly oversized feel. Six is my starting point for tops. Um, this is what the back looks like. It does have this one seam across the back and the back of the arm. That is it. There's nothing super um, different or, you know, out there about this sweatshirt. It's just a good basic. And I love that it's kind of in that cropped shape. I prefer this this shape the cropped um shape over the longer ones most of the time the benefits of the longer ones is that they co cover my butt but most of the time this is the silhouette I guess that I'm looking for so I love this I love that it has nothing on it it's just going to be a a great basic to have in my closet for the entire spring and summer so I knew instantly I had to have it it does come in black too um I don't think I'm picking up the black right now. I don't think I need another black sweatshirt, but really excited about the white one. Okay, next thing that I grabbed um, is the Instill Cross Strap Tank. This um, is a slightly different variation of a tank that I had grabbed in a couple of colors last year, um, but this has the back of it crisscrosses in a really pretty way. I like that it does that. It just adds a little something different. Um, it comes in this black color, but it also comes in the velvet dust color. Um, I like these. They're not like the top favorite, like maybe my Strappy Nulu would be, but it's the kind of thing that I really like to have on hand because it's flattering. It covers everything. Um, it's comfortable. I think this is made with Nulu. Let's see. No, it doesn't say that it is, but it's a really soft fabric. It's maybe not the exact same as the top that I'm wearing, but these are intended for yoga. It's intended to provide light support for a C or D cup, um, soft and supportive smooth cover fabric, four-way stretch, sweat wicking, um, pockets for optional removable cups, cross back strap, tight fit, weight, waist length. Okay, so what I really like about them is that they are waist length. I like the way that they, um, they fall just a little bit longer, which is, makes it nice for when you're doing yoga or when you're being active, when you're moving around. And I don't have to constantly fiddle. So when I am doing yoga and I go in or out of a pose, I don't like it whenever I have to like readjust and put things back the way that they are because I feel like I have like skin or a roll or something wanting to poke or pudge out. So 
That is my least favorite thing. So these are just nice for that, but this has a different neckline, I wanna say, than the ones from last year did. I feel like this one kinda of has a little bit more of that sweetheart neckline, which is nice. And then with the cross back, it's just cute. It just ends up being a really like pretty feminine look. So overall, I just, I do really like the tank. I definitely would wear this for yoga. I don't feel like it's gonna be the sort of thing like this strappy Nulu tank. I feel like I transition this into just streetwear just as much as I would wear it for yoga or, you know, being active. I feel like this is a little bit more like you're gonna keep this for yoga or active, but it still definitely has its place. I just am that girl that like, I like my pieces to be able to be used for so many different things and it's nice when they can. Um, but this is definitely, I'm, I'm keeping this because this is definitely gonna be a staple and something that I reach for a lot for when I am being active. So I think it's a winner. Okay, and next up is a staple. You guys, I love a Swiftly and I realized that the gray Swiftly's that I had that I just didn't have any short sleeve because I went to reach for it more than once and realized, wait, there's no gray short sleeve. So I have the long sleeve and I have the tank, but I did have to get rid of a tank because it was just too big for me. So I was just in the market for a gray Swiftly again. Um, I feel like this color is one of the colors that I reach for a lot during spring and summer. I do like a short sleeve Swiftly. I take mine in a size six and I did get the regular length in this one intentionally. I um, have gone back and forth about whether I love the race length or this length better, but I'm a tall girl. And so I just like that it offers the extra length. Sometimes I just am looking for that sort of thing. So this one I went ahead and grabbed in the regular length. This is a staple. I mean, Swiftly's have been around for forever but let me just show you what it looks like it does have such a very um, soft breathable fabric this is made with the no stink zinc which means that it's gonna inhibit bacterial growth and you won't stink even if you say take this on vacation or something and have to wear it a couple of days in a row without being able to wash it it really will um I mean, that's nice that you're not gonna be stinky even if you had to wear it a couple of days in a row. Um, or if you were to the grocery store after, you know, a workout or, you know, whatever. But this is what the back looks like. You can see that it's super breathable. It's almost like a mesh-like fabric. Um, really love that. And let's see, cool thing about these is that the under the Hem, inside of the hem, it always says something. This this says start where you are, and that's just inside the back end of the hem. Um, it's not visible on the outside. So this is what they look like. Um, everybody kind of knows Swiftly's, but it's a staple in my wardrobe. I do tend to, recently, um, it's been one of the things that I'm pulling for the most. So I will end up putting on a pair of aligned leggings in a Swiftly tank, and then I just throw a jacket over it and that tends to be my uniform. I kind of change up what my uniform like that is for going to just do my um, workouts, but that's what I've been pulling for lately. So I needed this and I definitely, if you don't have Swiftly's in your in your wardrobe, they are definitely a staple for wor working out and being active and I highly recommend grabbing one. And the last thing that I have for today's review is this Flyaway Tamer headband. I am not even going to lie to you guys. I picked this up because I keep seeing on TikTok that these um, are coming back in style and that I just was thinking, oh gosh, if TikTok gets a hold of it, then um, they'll not be available if I should decide that I want one. So I went ahead and grabbed one in the black and I grabbed a white one also. I am not usually that girl that ends up wearing headbands for working out. I really don't have any trouble with my hair falling and getting in my face and I am not in a stage of my life that I am really doing a whole lot of running or anything like that. So it's just not been necessary for me um, thus far, but I just didn't like the idea that they would potentially be unavailable. So I went ahead and grabbed, um, I have my hair up right now, so I cannot try it on and I haven't tried it on yet. So you guys are just going to have to check me out on Instagram. I will um, have it. I mean, I'm going to try to see what I can do with it. If I can style it, if I can pull it off, I have no idea. I'm going to give it a shot. 
So if you are interested in seeing how I end up looking, trying one of these headbands, then check me out on Instagram. We shall see. They're only, I want to say that these were $12 a piece. Yeah, they're only $12 a piece, which is super affordable. So I figured before um, you couldn't get your hands on them that I would go ahead and grab it, see how I can style it, see if I can work it in. I won't be wearing it to the gym. I'm just talking about styling it with my um, street clothes, basically athletic outfits, but something that I would just wear on the daily basis. So that's what I grabbed these for. We'll see. So um, not sure about that, but I will let you know. And yeah, that is everything that I have for today's haul. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, check me out on Instagram and like to know it if you are not following me there, because that is where you will see all of the things that I've picked up and how I wear them in my regular everyday life, going to the gym, being active. I have a very casual life. So in all honesty, I end up wearing Lululemon pieces just about every day. That's pretty normal for me. So um, yeah, check me out there if you are not already. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video.